that is. Oh, oh goodness. It's Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea's got this. We're good. The, the, the splash screen was different, and then I hit the wrong button. That's okay. Causing a ruckus. You, that's how you know it's a Tuesday. Right? <laughs> it's Tuesday at my sewing room. I'm Chelsea. I'm Leah. The official and... title for Tuesday is Two for Tuesday, which is why you get two of us. An extra special day. Right? Tuesdays are Monday, so we need to make it more special. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That's how it works. Plus, plus, we missed a Monday last week. <gasps> we missed a Monday last week? Why was that? Uh, I was away with Anne, the owner of the store. We were at Bernina University last week. And Chelsea was just off gallivanting. I was gallivanting. <laughs> I was having fun. <laughs> <laughs> we all escaped. Left, left everybody else in charge. It was uh, fun. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, today for Two for Tuesday, uh, we're going to do a bit of a Bernina recap from last week. Um, I know some of you managed to jump in and see some of the live, a little bit of live posting we were able to do from Bernina University. Um, in the mix, if you didn't know, we managed to go live on YouTube, nice. Instagram, and Facebook. Which I didn't know I could do two of those things before I tried them, and then they worked. <laughs> um, but just in the mix of how the week went... Um, not everything I did all week long was easy to live stream from. So it's true. You did some classes. I did a whole bunch of classes. So Bernina University is Bernina's, um, big conference, um, generally annually. This is the first one in three years, uh, due to a little, little pandemic. Let's not talk about that, <laughs> but this is the first one in three years. So new machine launches, new accessory launches, um, there whole variety of types of classes there's classes on marketing and like being a dealer and um classroom support and how to find techs and teching classes if if you're more tech in so the first couple times i went to bernina university i did tech classes mainly and this time i did no tech classes and all, all sorts of other things fun classes is what i would call them because i have some fun samples here. yeah yeah so a couple of the things that we did along the way I uh, was try out some of the new things that are coming out really soon. So in the mix of this, you might have seen the big, big, big thing for this fall is uh, two new special edition machines um, from Kay Facet. Mm -hmm. So he is an artist, knitter, fabric designer. Makes beautiful floral prints. Yes. Is what I know of so Kay. If, if you want to see a Kay floral print... <clears throat> That fabric up at the top here, that's a cave kind of print. Um, stunning, stunning stuff um, from Beautiful him. Beautiful colors. So it's been in the works for a little while from the sounds of it. And working on a collaboration that would suit his artistic needs and suit Bernina's um, desire for perfection and making a great machine. So mm -hmm. there's two special editions coming out this fall. Um, very, very limited quantities. I did get... The Canadian price list in my hands today. Um, so if you were on the list of people who were like, oh, look at that little blue one. It is so cute. <laughs> it is way too cute. Um, the two models, there's a 475 filters edition. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a standard size sewing machine. Um, it does have the big, big bobbins that Bernina is known mm -hmm. for, See, which I love. Miles. So for so long. Um, it has some specialty decorative, decorative stitches. Uh, designed by Cave, so they're really cool floral stitches in it. Cool. Um, it's coming with a trolley bag and a special dust cover, are both they... of which are pretty. Are they blue? Uh, the bags are gray with kind of a blue flap with the flowers. I like that. So the machine is like a light aqua. Um, is it kind of similar to our beautiful prints behind us? It's a little more green than this. A little more green than that. So kind more... of between those two. Yeah. Shades. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's it? absolutely gorgeous. Um, very, very limited production run. So if that's something that cracks you up, um, don't hesitate. Like, kind of whatever I order this week will be all that we get our hands on. Ooh. So if you're on the list of people who's like, I need a really cute blue machine for my travel machine, um, let us know. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, let us know so that we get enough here for everybody that's interested. Um, because there won't be, there won't be more. Like, um, there's already been some interest. And I know down in the U.S. they're selling, like, hotcakes. Ooh. And they're not here yet. So, they're they're really pretty. So, the 475, that would be kind of your more entry-level sized one. And it's blue. And it's blue. It's blue. It's blue. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Um, then we'll have those posted up on our web store um, in the next couple days. But, really, we just got every all the details today um, for pushing it out into our world. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is a 770. So, 770 is... Uh, Kind of like the best-selling Bernina over the last six years. Yep. Super solid machine. Lovely, lovely throw space if you like to quilt or make clothes or make drapes or... Embroider? Embroider. It's an embroider. It has an embroidery option. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Yay. Um, and it's actually the 770 Plus, so it's got all the Plus features on it. Oh, awesome. No need uh, to upgrade. No. So a couple of different options on the 770. You can either get the 770 as like sewing machine... Or, and that would come with one bundle, or you can add on the embroidery module and the embroidery bundle that goes with all of that. Mm. So if you're, if you're remotely thinking that embroidery might be something you want to try, um, maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to monogram your towels. Maybe you just want to quilt your quilts. Um, there's specialty cave designs, like this beautiful one. This beautiful oh, one. Oh gosh, it turned out so pretty. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna see if I can yeah, get a better needs, shot. It needs a close up. So the stitches on this, uh, this is a collaboration between uh, KF and OESD on the digitizing. But the flowers are spectacular. They're they're really, really, really pretty. I love the is that a satin stitch on the petals? Almost like a really chunky zigzag. Chunky zigzag. That's chunky. a good description. Like, that's the best description of how it's stitched out. So. I like that. <laughs> chunky zigzag. Chunky zigzag. Um, but it looks like hand embroidery. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. It's so, gorgeous. Uh, really, really cool. And then some outline uh, quilting type files in there as well. So if you're a huge uh, K fan... You could quilt all your cave quilts with the cave embroidery Ooh. designs with the module. That sounds fabulous. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of the two machines. So the 770, you have a couple different ways to get it. Um, really, if you're going to jump all the way into that special edition, um, I would say get the module so that you have that option of all those extra embroidery designs that are built in so you can use them. I like that. And then it comes with a bundle with thread. And... Ooh. Bernina V9 Creator Software, which gives you editing capabilities, um, and basic, basic machine digitizing control. So fabulous. fabulous. Again, super limited quantities. The production run is in progress. The machines coming to Canada have already started shipping. So oh. to Canada, not to us. Yay! Um, estimated time of delivery for the first few that we'll get, um, end of September, early October. So awesome. So if you're thinking you want a fall gift or an early Christmas present, get in touch. Can we pre-order for customers? Totally. For totally. Awesome. It would be much better if they pre-ordered so that we knew where it was going when it got here. So if you really, really want it, call us in now. Or email sewing machines at my sewing room .ca. Mm -hmm. For either one. The four seven. Yeah, either, either one. Um <laughs> the one the one little bit of advertising I saw at BU was the whole package you get the big one for at home and the small one for your travel machine oh that's a fantastic idea and get the whole cave edition all in one go maybe nice little siblings right yeah. and the bobbins are interchangeable and also the feet are interchangeable you call one cave in one facet oh <laughs> chelsea's sold <laughs> i'm sold <laughs> i'm You're always sold, sold. <laughs> i'm way too easy <laughs> um so yeah th those are the special editions um that was one of the big announcements um some of the other big announcements if you guys are coming across um Anything from American dealers. Uh, the Bernina 735 uh, officially launched at BU for the American market. However, uh, they snuck that into Canada for us earlier this year. So yeah. 
we already have that in store if you're interested. It's got the great throat space of the 770 and the rest of the 7 Series, but it has the 5mm feed. So if you're coming mm -hmm. um, to the point where you're burning a 150 or 153 or your 440 um, or your 325 or your 215, any of those machines where you're like, oh, I just wish I had a little more throat space, uh, you can still have great big bobbins, but the narrow feed ducts. That you're Yay. used to sewing on. So, um, awesome. 735 is already here and it is also inverter capable. Fabulous. Um, the studio frame for the Bernina Q series machines was also officially launched at BU. Mm -hmm. Again, it's been available in Canada for about a year. So, sometimes we get things first. <laughs> We're special. <laughs> um, but it's a smaller frame that you can set up at five feet. So, if you don't have room awesome. for a big, big frame, um, for your Q16 or Q20, you can set up on the 5 or 10 foot option. Well, and you can quilt quite large quilts on there still. Mm -hmm. You just have to do a little bit of a mosing around, but it's yeah, it's not limiting, which is nice. Yeah, it's not limiting at all. Um, there's some new ruler sets <laughs> for ruler work. Mm. One of those is in store already. The rest are on my sheet of new coming soon. Um, there's a new big book of stitches. Yes. So if you already have a big book of feet or a big book of embroidery or a big book of serging, the big book of stitches is so pretty. I had one in my hand. <laughs> so Leah sold. And and the lady who did the editing on it uh, kept a very close eye on it because I'm sure every one of us in that class where she showed it uh, would have taken it home had we had the opportunity. <laughs> she, she hovered. She was, she, she was like a security officer with... <laughs> with a book <laughs> she didn't have like a, a rope book. tied to it because i would have no you can't tie a rope to a book you totally can it does have a coil yeah cover so it'll lie flat Just on your table but <laughs> um big book of stitches covers um how to use all like places where you would use each category of stitches that you have on your great great machine so what kind of stitches do what kinds of jobs and uh the tools you have to edit those and play with them awesome it was, it's <clears throat> it's a gorgeous reference book um so that's uh, those things. Uh, two new hoops announced. Ooh, new hoops! I know everyone was hoping for a certain type of hoop. So there is, uh, let's talk about the one. Do you want to hold that sample up? Oh, yes, I sure do. So one of, my, one of my favorite things that you can do with uh, computerized machines and something with a module on it is finish your quilts with, with accuracy. So... This is not all the way finished. You probably can't even super see it, but this is quilted through here. <clears throat> Some of it. You might be able to see it from the back. It has a nice blue on the back. It does have a nice blue on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make this as awkward as possible. Uh, they might be able to see some texture right here. Let me just rub Chelsea's face in the quilt. <laughs> um, so the new, uh, the new hoop that I used for this is called the medium clamp hoop. Um, it's a square hoop. If you have a Bernina 8 series, it has a uh, stitchable area of 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. It has a really, really lovely acrylic template for placement, so you can get your quilt block placed dead center. That's awesome. It makes it so much easier for placing and getting things squared up. So, um, uh, on the 7 series, it's 8.5 by 8 and a quarter. It's not quite square because the throw space on the 7 series is just a little bit narrower. Um, so that that hoop will fit 7 and 8 series. And uh, we do have pricing for that. I did read the timeline of availability. I think in September-ish, but don't quote me on that. I had yeah. it all in my hands earlier, but there was a very long it was a list. <laughs> Sounds like I just need to start putting together a birthday list because my birthday is in September. Ooh. So it's like Bernina said happy birthday, Chelsea. Totally. Do you want a blue machine? I really do, but <laughs> I might have to let go of my brother first. Oh, uh, you can have one of each. They have different perks and different things oh, they're good at. There's only so much room in the sewing office. <laughs> I'll just start taking over the spare. It's yeah, fine. that's that's fine. It's fine. Um, so that is the one new hoop is the clamp hoop so it's got um 12 little clamps to hold your quilt in place which means depending kind of how awkward the thing is you can use i used eight clamps when i was doing this not all 12. awesome and it held my quilt uh super nicely so it's fantastic and they clip on and clip off so it was it was lovely 
lovely to work with. Um, and it's not a super heavy hoop, so it's not going to be really, really awkward to get up onto your machine um, when you go to use it. Sounds like you could use it for a lot of really awkward projects. Yeah, but if you're wanting really awkward projects, the other hoop that was announced would be even better. Um, so the large... Uh, I see a question up there. Who do you contact for pricing on hoops? Uh, email order desk, and they will have pricing in the next day. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have it quite yet. <laughs> um, soon. <laughs> they will have pricing tomorrow. That's my game plan. Um, so the other new hoop is uh, called the free arm hoop. So same uh, shape as the large oval. Same stitchable area as the large oval. Um, but the big difference being... Uh, the part that connects to the machine um, on the large oval is on the outer hoop. And then you have to get all that bulk up and over your arm. So the free arm hoop has the clamp and an arced thing up and over to clip. Interesting. So what that means is that instead of trying to um, get a hoop into a bag this way, would you like a top view? Yes. They didn't let me bring hoops home either. Ah! I tried. I tried. Those monsters. I tried. <laughs> anyway, something like this tote bag that's already made. Um, if we were to hoop this right now, you'd probably almost want to take the bag apart. Mm -hmm. Or you'd be working at um, having that open end here with that inner hoop inside. Which I can't do because I tightened that up. I tied it shut. Oh, you sure did. I sure did, so I didn't lose the string. <laughs> it's a good call. Um, But then in the mix of this, you have all this extra bag back here. That you have to fight with. That you have to fight with and not get caught underneath. So the way the new one hoops and clamps, you can actually slide this up over the free arm. Ooh. And that inner hoop which sits on top of your fabric is the part with the clamp. So then this is just hanging over your free arm. So this is almost similar to what we have set up on a semi-industrial machine like the Brother Multi Needles. That's awesome. Yeah. Super, super lovely. Very um, awesome. And this, like a large oval 5x7, like if you needed to do the front of a t-shirt, mm -hmm. so nice because you don't have to take that t-shirt apart. You just like put the free arm through the, like the neck of the neck of the t-shirt yeah yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> you probably put the body through too if you wanted to do something just on the chest yeah like top right chest placement or... yeah so really really lovely um there will be new firmware uh for all the machines to um that will be capable so that they can run these newer hoops and awesome. we will have a more thorough list of which machines will be uh compatible with each hoop in the very awesome. near future um, I don't have the entire list in my hands yet, so. We'll get it soon, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so new hoops. Um, there's some new, uh, accessories announced for the Burnett series as well. Um, so there's a new magnetic hoop for the Burnett 70 and 79. It's, I believe it's a 6 by 10 so like this large hoop that already comes with it. Um, there is new ruler feet for those Burnett 70 and 77 and 79 machines. And there's a couple other new feet. Again, bigger list coming soon, more officially. But um, lots and lots of information last week on those things. So we've talked about the tote bag Ooh, and I... the new hoop. And we talked about the quilt. You might have saw a sneak peek when we had top view on him. <laughs> this little cutie. Um, this little bag. Um was a class I took uh, called the Tool Tote. So cute. And uh, the focus of this class was using some of the great uh, built-in sewing stitches on the module side of the machine. Mm -hmm. um, and their shape designer from the eights and some other fun things in there. So it was a really nice like work through, use the tools already built into your machine um, project class. So that's something um, that we should be able to run as a class once I take it back apart and uh, make notes. Because <laughs> I assembled the whole thing with no instructions in my hands. <laughs> I love that. There was a PowerPoint that we were following in class. Um, 
But to be able to go back and teach this, I need I need some more notes for you guys. <laughs> the good thing is you didn't sew this top I did hole not, closed. I did off. not sew it shut. So great news. You did not finish it. I did not actually finish this. Yay. Um, but it has some really, really functional things in it and um, some good, like, walk you through the steps that are built into your um, seven or eight series machines. So that's that one. Um, we might be able to do parts of this on the fives as well. I have to go back and think through the project the rest of the way with another machine in my hands. Hmm. So, so that's the top of the line tool tote. That's what what the class is called. And then if you want to hold that, I this is my I'm most excited for this class. <laughs> you need this, to... this is actually my favorite my favorite hands on class that I took. Um, we might just have to do the here? sandy thing and do a costume change. Can I hold it up? Oh, you know what, actually? Maybe I have to drape it. Will this work? Maybe. So I'll stick one sleeve in there and then I'll hold up the other sleeve. It needs a little bit of tweaking. This was the first oh. the first run of this as well. <laughs> um this is a Dolman sleeve top taught by a Bernina sure. International educator. Is that better? Yeah. So it's okay. a t-shirt. <laughs> it has all the t-shirt properties. Things like places for your arms to come out. And your head. And your head. In the bottom of your body. Um, but it was, like, one of the coolest things I've ever made. Because I've made clothing where you have to measure, like, all of you. <laughs> very carefully. And this, this was, like, a no-measure t-shirt adventure. Yeah, no-measure t-shirt adventure. Um, I was in a class of about 20. Most people in there um, had some experience with sergers and cover stitch, but not everybody did. And we made shirts in three and a half hours. It's pretty wicked. With, with no measuring. I love that. Yeah, so it was really cool. Um, it was a really nice way to get to know the features of the machines and try things without the pressure of a really fitted garment at the end. Well, and it would be an epic Christmas present for people. Because you don't have to measure them then. You do need a body in the shirt, though. Oh. So. Then just put a blindfold on them and be like, I'm going to do something. Right. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, lots of variations um, were talked about by the time we were done. One girl did a wider neckline and an off-the-shoulder thing. Cute. Um, some people went way shorter. Some people went longer. There's people talking about dresses at the end of class. It was super fun. It was um, and and I know it's it's something I can adapt for my daughter, who's a beanpole at eleven, or uh, myself, who's not a beanpole anymore. <laughs> got more curves than I used to. Or so people who are a little short. Yeah, like <laughs> totally, totally flexible um, and make it fit you. And then the second one, you might do other changes. So mm -hmm. so that um, is definitely on the list of fun things to uh, share with you guys. We'll put this one on top so the other pictures will be um, Other things. That's not the camera I want. Nope. That's not <laughs> uh, made a passport holder. Um, just make and take along it's the cute. way. Is it's, that a cork? Is that a cork? Decorative stitches on the 735. Pretty it's cute. If you want to come in and give this a try, we will okay. work towards getting a demo set up here in the store so you can make your own passport cover if you're going places. Yay! Yeah. We wanted to show this off too? Yeah, I was definitely passing you those pictures. You gave them to me to bring down. I had to. <laughs> had to why, did, why did we take pictures if we're not going to do anything? With we them, had right? to prove you were there, Leah. <laughs> this is my evidence. <laughs> this is your evidence. Not the live streaming from the event? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Anne and I in the photo booth. With cave flowers. Cave flowers. Cave so flowers. flowers. So wonderful and colorful. And then uh, this is Anne and I with Adrian from Bernina, Canada. Uh, Deb from Bernina, Canada. She's new on the education and social media team there. And Muriette from Norway. Our so, honorary Canadian. Our honorary Canadian for the week. We adopted her. She was, she was lovely. Um, but this print in the back here is the print that is on those 770s. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, so, yeah, there's uh, a stack of paperwork like this of new things coming to the store. Very excited. So as those get here, we'll share. There's, it ranges right across the board from sewing to 
embroider to quilting to uh, other new things. Maybe we could do a live unboxing. Ooh, that'd be fun. <gasps> Dope, but oh. we'd have to do two. Oh, it's coming from like four different vendors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many unboxings we'll have to do. 770, 475, and then a hoops. Yeah. I was thinking about all the other stuff we ordered, too. You want to unbox everything? Why not? It might break our poor receiving team. Could Maybe the receiving team wants to do an unboxing. Ooh, I bet John would be down. Yeah, potentially. We could show him everything in the box. What it's for. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, other, other things coming out of Bernina University. Uh, OESD was there, because they're an OES, <laughs> they're a Bernina partner. Um, <clears throat> took a look at all the new launches for the fall. So those, uh, things will be hitting our stores, some of them pretty soon. Um, if you guys, we did a live stream tour at well past 4.15 regular live stream time <laughs> on Facebook Thursday yep. night. Um, so you'll get some shots there of that. I, we might start to have marketing materials on, on that. Um, but if you want to get your hands on some of those holiday releases as they start to trickle out and you want um, pricing like that will knock your socks off on stabilizer um and you want to meet somebody from oesd one of their educators don't know who it is yet we should know later this week or early next <laughs> um we have an oesd event yes we and, sure do. with like event pricing on machines and stabilizers happening september 29th september 30th and october 1st there's three days of things one is a lecture demo and two are hands-on it's going to be embroidery an class yeah. Epic. I'm so pumped. There's a tiling scene for Halloween. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> There's a Halloween tiling <laughs> scene. <laughs> it's got like the coolest pumpkins ever. It's got some glow in the dark thread. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm so excited. Um, that's new. Uh, we picked up a new educational program from Smith Street Designs, which is more embroidery, but very different vibe than OESD or Kimberbell. Um, so that We'll start playing with that when it lands here, and we'll figure out how to share it with you. It's going to be exciting. Um, we might have some funky new tools for, like, just general sewing. Mm -hmm. We might have some new sharp objects from Ulfa. Ooh, I love me a good sharp object. <laughs> and we have a whole new line of tools coming in, too. Yeah, we do. Secret, though. Secret. We'll it's share that secret. when we get it. Uh, Maybe we'll unbox that. That'd be pretty fun to we'll unbox. Just, we'll let the boys receive it and put it all back in the box. And then we can unbox it. Yeah, we, we might be able to do that. I like that. Yeah. It'd be so fun. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Right? Just, yeah, it'll be good. I can't wait. Um, Yeah, so lots and lots of new information. Lots lots of new things right across the board, not just for mm -hmm. us. So um, some of that's that we ordered will be available relatively quickly and it will start showing up here in a couple weeks. Um, some of it's going to take a little bit of time. So pretty much for the rest of the summer and moving into the fall, uh, you're going to see more things than just new fabric every week because there's a lot of new things coming. Well, I think there's a new class coming up too being announced. Right? It's a secret though. Uh, we don't have to keep it a secret. Do we have to keep it a secret? Nah. Let's tell Ooh. the lovely people that join us live first. Ooh. So, uh, for those of you uh, who joined us for the Maui Glam Bag back in March, uh, Patty is teaching another class for us of by Annie's pattern called Tools of the Trade. It's really cool. And it's like if you want to take your sewing things places and take a cutting mat with you and your rulers and your rotary cutter and your pen and your pencil and your awl and your stiletto and your M&Ms and your 505, what else do you think you could fit in there? <laughs> I like the M and M slide in. <laughs> I would have put in a Kit Kat bar. Oh, Kit Kats are good too. Times like eight. Hmm. <laughs> it won't hold your coffee. No. Take but, that in a travel mug. But you'd have enough hands free to carry your to coffee. To carry your coffee <laughs> and like a snack because it's all gonna be in this fabulous bag. Yeah. So that bag class um, 
starting in September the 17th. 17th. <laughs> Patty's here. Ah, Patty's here. <laughs> I saw the bag after the photo booth upstairs. Yes, I'm going to have to sneak it down. <laughs> Uh, Anne says, I may have information overload. I totally have information <laughs> overload. I have a notebook <laughs> that is falling apart from all the notes I took. <laughs> yes. And a stack of paperwork from all the other things we did. Um, I saw her notebook today. It was very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I might have written enough that I popped the front cover off of it, so now it is a notebook in two pieces. <laughs> I love that. We have enough glue. We can fix We it. can fix that. It's, it's okay. fine. It was just my BU notebook, so all those notes were tucked in one place. Um, but yeah, lots of really good information and very excited to start sharing that yeah. back out because there's, it was not a holiday. It was a working trip. So th my job being there is to come back and share whatever I can with the rest of our Calgary and cross Canada family. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I learned a lot. As soon today. as I have fun things like new hoops in my hands, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be way more fun. <laughs> Maybe you can teach me how to use them when they come in. Yes. Just a million unboxes. Unboxings. Not unboxes. Unbox and do the thing with the thing. Yes. Yeah. So you have to see why you want it. Cannot wait. Yeah. Pumped. Uh, yeah. It was lots of information. Good news. We just focused on work because it was too hot to do anything in Indian Wells. Palm Springs, California. <laughs> we went on a bike ride. We did. So Anne and I snuck off and did work, uh, not work for one small chunk of time. <laughs> as many of you who've been watching the Facebook Live with us for, for as long as we've been running this, you know I'm a little bit addicted to my bicycle. I was I was quite distraught planning this trip out and thinking oh, I'm going to be gone a whole week and, and a whole week with no bike sounds awful. Um, so just some digging, found a bike tour company. <laughs> That still runs tours, even though it was, I don't know, 46 Celsius during the day. And uh, they drove us up into the mountains outside of Palm Springs. And then we rode back to town. It was about a 20-mile ride, but it was mostly downhill. That is awesome. So there was a lot of coasting. It could go pretty quick without a lot, whole, whole lot of effort. Well, it cools you down with all that wind. Right. And um, other people who might know, I have a geology rock science background uh the geology in the area is fascinating we, i crossed the san andreas fault and a couple other fault systems and some really um some really cool schist formations which had some quartz veining in them schist schist yes. schist not like, a cyst but a schist schist cool that's interesting what happens when you compress clay for a long time you get a schist so it breaks in layers it's a very schist cool. But there was quartz veining through it. It was very pretty. Yeah, the Google how to spell schist. <laughs> no, S C H I S T. <laughs> oh my goodness, that C just <laughs> slid right in there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, cool geology. Um, our tour guide was fantastic. He had so much information about the area. We stopped for apparently part of the tour is ice date ice cream because they have tons of date farms in the area. Awesome. And then, and then we went back to the air conditioning and stayed there the rest of the week. <laughs> so that was our one small adventure outside of Bernina. Sounds like a good adventure. But yeah, lots, lots of information. So um, if you guys have questions um, or new hoops or new machines, um, if you want those in your hands, you want to be on the list. I know there's a list started for hoops. I saw that up at the till already today, so email orderdesk at mysewingroom.ca. If you have questions about the machines, uh, sewing machines at mysewingroom.ca. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit easier if we keep those two things separate because lots of times sewing machine conversations are a little longer than hoop conversations. Yeah. And then there's new fabric. Oh, yeah, we have some pretty new fabric. There's a lot of boxes of fabric when we got back. So many boxes. <laughs> so many boxes. I can't wait for next week's fabric. I've already... So I'm just going to tell everybody now, Christmas fabric has started to arrive. Yes. In full force. Christmas in July, Leah. Right? This one's Christmas, actually, and it's so pink and cute. Is that a bolt we can hijack? It sure is. There's, this one comes in a few colors, actually. It comes in pink and the mint color. Uh, just like the sweetest little print. It's so sweet. So those are little. Little, little. <laughs> little, little. And there's a print of uh, those little mushrooms as well in here. Yeah. There's a few different prints. 
so sweet. And this is called Trinket Noel. Pixie Noel? Pixie Noel. Pixie Noel. Pixie Noel. Not Pixie Trinket. Pixie Noel. Pixie. P-I-X-I. Pixie. Pixie. <laughs> Thank you for spelling it for me. <laughs> <laughs> My new, new plan's just to spell everything for me. I need that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some more flannel, too. It's not quite flannel weather in Calgary. There's four of them. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> There's more. We have more coming. But it's a good time to eat time of year if you're i should stock up on some flannel receiving blankets i have some right here it has rainbows on it rainbows and it's blue it's very that cute might work. my brother's expecting his baby super soon i should probably get on making him something oh well, i know a place to find some flannel i know a place to find some flannel and we'll make him some receiving blankets do a rolled ham on the server quick and easy be awesome yeah easy peasy mm -hmm. just actually have to sit down and do it Step one. <laughs> Step one. Step one. It's not like seven with a blank space. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that is that is how my notebook looks from being last week. Seven. <laughs> I turned the page and my mind went blank. So then there's a seven at the top and then I was like, oh, nope. Information overload. I'm, I don't have seven. Got one through six. But Do you have an eight and a nine? No. Okay. No, we just stopped. We stopped at seven. We stopped at seven. There's not even a thought after the seven. It's just seven. And then uh, the squirrel. I, I was writing that list while I was at the airport on the way home. So could be there was an announcement to like get on the plane and. <laughs> we had to go. We had to go. Um, yeah, that that is my Bernina recap. It's an awesome recap. So, at least four things here on the table, maybe five. <clears throat> our potential classes to watch for as soon as we get um, backwards engineering from a class sorted out, labeled out and sorted. Backwards engineering, I like it. So re-engineer from the roughly fold here to better measurements, because that's how I like to work. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's options. Um, thanks for joining us today. Oh, there's there's some things this week. Ooh, what's this week? Tomorrow is Stitch Party. Yes. Our stitch Party class. Gnome Sweet Gnome. We're making a tiny little garden gnome. It's in so Bert. cute. Making him into like a plant label. And he uses a lot of different stabilizers that we don't normally use. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. We have our good friend the Badge Master, and I saw there was Fuse and Fix, Fuse and Seal, mm -hmm. and Fiber Form. Yeah. Those are all things I haven't used yet. So I think it's really cool. Yeah, no, it'll be good. We'll we'll stitch along with that. Um so that's a stitch along. You can join us for a single session of Stitch Party or join us for the whole year. Um so it's a single session tomorrow will be recorded if you can't attend live because you only heard about it today. Yeah. But if you want to make your own gnome. He's cute. Really cute. Um I also heard a rumor that uh the Kimberbell table harvest kits are ready to go and be picked up yes so if you have a harvest table kit ordered they are ready um if you're joining us for kimber bell's harvest table event on august 5th you will need some variegated thread to coordinate with your project because mm -hmm. there's little napkin rings they'll be pretty sharp if you use variegated they might be a little flat if you don't they're very fun with the variegated they're super fun with variegated thread we do have color suggestions here in store. We sure do. So those are some of the things going on. Yeah. And we'll let you know when we know more. Patchwork in Paradise. Oh, Patchwork in Paradise. Patchwork in Paradise. Patchwork in Paradise. Patchwork in Paradise. Is a mystery quilt. <laughs> mystery novel. 13-month class. All rolled into one lovely little ball with fabric. Well, and you can come in store. If you want to get out of the house and join us in or, the store. You know, some of those months are going to be over the wintery seasons. So join us on Zoom. Yeah. Join us in store. Join us on Zoom. Um, it'll be recorded, but each month you'll get a chapter in Barb's novel, as well as a quilt block, and instructions, and a class. So 13 classes, new techniques every month. Lots of new techniques. And the fabric comes with the kid fee so you'll be set up ready to go and to there's make. 
a mystery quilt. In there's three different colorways. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, they're pretty. I like them. They're so pretty. I want to pick one, but I can't. <laughs> You're undecided. It's impossible to pick one. Oh no, there's one matches colors. my hair, so that's the one I'm going with. This is true. I think that's tropical nights. Tropical nights matches mm -hmm. my hair. Of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> we did not base the colors of those quilt kits on my hair. No. Yep. No. Based on the theme of the book. Most definitely. Patchwork in Paradise. I, I'm excited. Yeah. I cannot wait for that class too. Right? So that's most of what's going on here this week. I think we could let the lovely people go. No. They, can, they can join us tomorrow. Um, Tomorrow. With Sandy. Yes. However, I think tomorrow's actually Sandy, but pre-recorded Sandy. And not quite live. Yes, I think it is pre-recorded Sandy. Because Sandy's not here this week, so... So you get pre-recorded Wacky Wednesday, which sounds even wackier than regular Wacky Wednesday, and I'm very excited for it. I got to see the project. Yeah, and she's it's she's got a simple cute. simple sewing project. So if, if you know anybody looking to learn some sewing skills mm -hmm. and a little quick, easy project, tune in on Wednesdays all summer long. You'll get other sewing things other days, but for sure you're going to get a simple project on Wednesdays. Sure will. Yeah. But anyway. That's what I've got for you guys. Information overload. Um, it's taking time to distill down through my bag of goodies. And then we'll have to rebuild it back into things for you guys. Yeah. As we, we, as we get the things to support it into our hands. We will get those. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Yes. On Two for Tuesday. Or Tools and Techniques Thursday. Ooh, what are you doing? I don't know yet. <sighs> I probably actually do know. It's up on the calendar. <clears throat> But I don't have a calendar in front of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> One day at a time. One day at a time. <laughs> so anyway, take care, everybody. Have a lovely evening.